page. Jabril, we'll start with uh, Brooks from the Advocate. Hey, Jabril, after this game, how much did you guys need this win? And what would you say about the performance defines y'all's identity at this point? Yeah, this win was huge for us. Um, it brought a lot of energy to us. Uh, it's something that we had to get back to, the LSU standard that we've all been knowing that we can do and just show people and prove. But uh, this win was really well needed. And going into Auburn, this is something that we can feed off of. Jabril, uh, you know, I just kind of touched on it, but I mean, you guys, you know, kind of build off some confidence here. I mean, uh, they did kind of go down and uh, they weren't able to score touchdowns off, the, you know, kind of big yards they got. I mean, just what was working when they kind of got down to the red zone and into those kind of tougher situations? Uh, what was working on defense for you guys? Yeah, the reason why they got down there was a uh, little mishaps on our part, uh, bad eyes by some of us in the secondary and linebackers and miss red gaps. But once they got down there, uh, we just decided to bend but not break. So it was good that they missed a couple field goals and uh, we held them on a couple of possessions. Yeah, to kind of build on that, I mean, like you said, there were the mishaps and the big plays. So when you leave this game, do you feel, do you put more weight on the, you more worried about the big plays given up or more pleased with the, the stops in the red zone and whatnot? Uh, more pleased about the stops. Uh, there are going to be mishaps and adversity, adversity during the game, but we just have to figure out ways to come back and just uh, stop them and not have them get in the end zone. Gabriel Pelini's obviously had a lot of success at LSU, especially in this first go around. But this this start, um, I'm sure it isn't what he envisioned. But how much do you feel like it was important for you guys maybe to I don't know if he needed any help with his psyche at all. I mean, I'm sure he, he was probably strong mentally, but do you think this does something for him or, or that you guys wanted to play well for him in a game like this? Yeah, Coach Perlini, he's really a player's coach and he really cares about us and everything. And we just, uh, earlier in the week, me, Jacoby and Damone, we just all decided that, hey, we've been playing really bad these past couple games and we just need to show everybody that Coach Perlini, his scheme and everything that he's been doing for us uh, is something that really fits our style. So uh, just coming out with the W and holding them to the amount of points we did. Uh, I know we gave up a few at the end, but it really showed how we can be as a whole defense. And Jabril, um, are some of these you know large explosive plays that come against you guys, is that a byproduct of being aggressive? Is that just kind of the cost of doing business or is that something that can be ratcheted up and you can still get those, uh, you know, tackles for loss and such? Yeah, that's just something that, that can be fixed. Uh, that's mostly on the players, us just losing our eyes and just trying to make a play or just uh, not focusing during the play. So that's something that we can fix up on ourselves. Yeah, TJ, uh, he's been preparing all summer uh, and all fall camp just for this moment. And he got to show everybody that he was ready. And he uh, is bad that Miles went down. But TJ, he came right in and stepped in and didn't miss a step. So TJ, he was prepared for the moment right when he went in. Hey, Jabril, Preston Guy here. Um, Question about, so that first drive came out looking pretty shaky, you know, three plays, 85 yards. Uh, but from that point on, you know, you gave up about only 300 yards for the rest of the game. Uh, did anything happen in between there? Were there any adjustments or anything that, that really straightened y'all out there? Yeah, we had certain adjustments with our D-line. Um, it was, yeah, it was a couple of them that uh, didn't really get the calls right away, but uh, we, made that adjustment right quick, and then for the rest of the game, uh, we started to lock them down. Okay, thank you all. Thank you, Jarrell. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you.